President of Human Rights Center in Manama, Nabil Rajab, says the Bahraini government's crackdown on the protesters is unacceptable. Yeah, we are in the state of shock and in a state of sadness and sorrow in the past uh, few days, uh, realizing that our king has ordered his army to attack the peaceful people, peaceful protest, uh, order his army to attack men and women and children, something we have not witnessed in our history. And we are living in a state of shock. How can we still rule by a king who can do that, who can make our last four days bloody. Hundreds of people are injured so far. Many of them are seriously injured. So far, six people dead and more than four people in a critical situation. Uh, uh, the human rights issues that where people were calling peacefully should not be made with gunfire, with tanks. People were asking for a political reform. People were asking for a human rights reform. People asking for their human rights to be respected. They wanted to stop the discrimination. They want freedom of expression. They want to stop the corruption in the government. They want elected this government. They want the written constitution by the people and not by the king. And those all demands and grievances of people were raised in very peaceful means. But unfortunately, it was met with the violence, with killing. This is something not acceptable at all. Kuwaiti lawmakers and clerics have protested the Bahraini government's crackdown on opposition demonstrators. MP Yusuf Al Zalzala said the Bahraini military's use of force against the peaceful protesters has been unprecedented in the Persian Gulf region. MP Adnan Abdul Samad also called on the Bahraini authorities to adopt a humane approach towards popular demands for political reform. Meanwhile, prominent Kuwaiti cleric Sayyid Mohammed Bagher Musavi Al Mohri urged the Bahraini officials to respond to the protesters' legitimate demands. Another cleric, Saleh Johar Hayat, also warned that oppressive rulers who violate their people's rights will have the same fate as the presidents of Egypt and Tunisia.